I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find theoretical probability when we spin a spinner twice. The question here is consider a spinner with numbers 1 to 3 as shown. So that is your spinner 1, 2 and 3 are the numbers. Imagine that they are all equal, right? Now the question is use a tree diagram to list possible outcomes if the spinner is spun twice, two times, right? And then part B is determine the theoretical probability that difference of numbers is 1. So that is what you have to do. You can actually pause the video, try the question and then look into my solution. Now in this particular case we are given a spinner where we can spin numbers 1, 2 or 3. So first time when you spin you could get either 1 or you could get 2 or you could get 3, right? Now you are spinning it twice. So second time again you could get 1, 2 or 3. So in that case if I have to show it on a tree diagram how do I show it? So this is the first spin, right? So this is my first spin. Now second spin what are the chances? Now let us say in the first spin we have got 1. Then in the second spin we could get either 1 or we could get 2 or we could get 3. You get the idea, right? So we could get 1, 2 or 3. Similarly, if we would have got 2 in the first spin then also we have the possibility of getting 1, 2 or 3, right? So we could get 1, 2 or 3. For the second spin, again we have three outcomes. 1, 2 or 3. Do you see that? 1, 2 or 3. Now combining these outcomes from the two spins, outcomes could be 1, 1. Let me write here. 1, 1 or 1, 2, 1, 2, or 1, 3, or 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, or 3, 1, 3, 2, or 3, 3. So the tree diagram shows all possible outcomes, right? So these are possible outcomes. So we have done part A which is use a tree diagram to list possible outcomes if the spinner is spun twice. Can you tell me how many possible outcomes are there? 3 times 3, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 possible outcomes, right? 9 possible outcomes. Now let's look into the second part of the question, it says determine the theoretical probability that difference of number is 1. In the two spins, we are looking for numbers with difference 1. Now there are 9 possible outcomes. If I find difference between 1 and 1, it is going to be 0. Between 2 and 1, this difference is, let me write difference here. Now let me write difference. Difference here is 0, here it is 1, here in this case it is 2. Difference here is 1, difference is 0. In this case, 2 and 3 is also 1. We can do 3 minus 2. You get the idea, right? So 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 3 is 0. Now in this, how many times do you get difference of 1? Let me highlight those. So the four times we get difference of one, correct? Now the question is, determine the theoretical probability that difference of numbers is one. So favorable outcomes are one, two, three, four. So for part B, our answer will be favorable outcomes. So probability for getting difference of one. So there will be 
favorable outcomes over total outcomes. So in our case, favorable outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is 4 out of total of 9, right? So 4 out of 9. So that is one way of writing the answer. The other is in percent form, right? We could also say in percent, that is 4 over 9 times 100. So let us calculate this also. So we have 4 divided by 9 times 100, which is... 44.4 percent. Do you see that? So we could write this answer in percent or in fraction. So that is how we could answer this question. I hope with this video you have understood the process of making a tree diagram for two spins. Also finding the possible outcomes in part B helps you to find the probability using the, your tree diagram. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.